So today we're going to review our simple tense verbs um, and also talk about our past perfect tense um, and adding new verb tense to our toolbox. Um, so first we're going to start out with a little, little review of our simple tense verbs. Um, as I'm sure you remember, when you use verb tense, you are talking about uh, when the action of a verb happened, right? Um, so you're going to want to make sure that the verb looks like what it's supposed to. Um, so simple tenses tell us how action relates to the present, the here and now. Um, and that's you know, the now. <laughs> um, so you'll use your base form in the present of a verb. And the base form is you know, just your regular old verb form, like I cook the pasta, right? And again, that's now. Um, can you tell me what the other two verb tenses are, the other two simple tenses? Past and future, right? Past and future, exactly. Um, so if we're talking about the past, we are talking about when in time. Something you already did. Yep. Exactly. So that would happen here in the past, mm -hmm. like 1970 yeah. or, you know, yesterday, whatever, whatever time you're feeling. And then the future, related to the now, where would that be? <laughs> this way? Yeah. Perfect. Okay. So we've got both of those things. Now when you're going to form a past tense of the verb, um, we're going to change the base tense, or the base, the base form of the verb, right? So instead of, I cook the pasta, how would you make the past tense there? Cooked. Right. So you cooked the pasta in the past. Now, there are definitely some irregular forms of the past, like... Uh, like, I thought about that, or um, I bought the pasta from the store, right? Can you, what's your favorite irregular? Took. <laughs> took. <laughs> yeah, can you use it in a sentence for me? I took the meat out. My mom asked me to. <laughs> awesome. That's good. That's an irregular. And these are tough because you kind of have to just memorize them, right? right. Um, so that's basically how you form the past is it's either an irregular or you add ed to the end, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so how about the future? How do we usually form the future tense? I don't know. You don't know? Okay, so usually when we're talking about the future, we're going to say instead of I cooked the pasta or I cooked the pasta, I will cook the pasta. So you form the future tense by adding the word will to it. And I don't think that there are any irregulars of that. Um, so we're going to use the word will to bring something into the future. We've also got our past here. Do you have any questions about uh, simple tense verbs? No. Okay, so we've got our past, our now, our present, and our future. Now we're gonna add a fourth item to our toolbox and it's called the past perfect tense. Now we use perfect tenses when we're trying to relate the action of our verb in the now to some other event in the either past, future, or present. So we're relating it to another event or another action. Okay. Okay, um, so the way that we're going to form that is we are going to use the word had and the participle. Do you know what the participle is? Okay, so our participle is basically our past tense, our simple past tense of the verb. So um, in, our, in our pasta example, cooked is going to be our participle of the verb cook. Okay. So if we're trying to say... Um, Think of an event that happened in the past. It can be, you know, the cat eating dinner or... I uh, ate dinner. <laughs> you ate dinner in the past? Okay, so you ate dinner in the past. Where is that related to the now? In the past. <laughs> okay, so Molly ate dinner. Now, what's something that you had done before you ate dinner? I went to the gym. So Molly went to the gym, and that's, that's before then in the past. So the way that we're going to form, we're going to talk about that from our present tense, is we're going to say, Molly had went to the gym, had gone to, Molly had gone to the gym before she ate dinner. Okay. Right? Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Can you give me an example of, you know, relating two other events to each other? Um, I had woken up this morning before I had breakfast. Awesome. Great. Do you have any questions? No. Great job.